Hello fellow DixSec members, welcome to our first video update on Project Ratchet. In this video, we're going to talk about our progress on the LED goggles. There are a lot of early builds, you see people post them on Twitter or YouTube, they all look great and a big applause to them. But here is our little contribution. Many of the builds you see, their goggles look very flat and it doesn't present this signature curvature. You may think it's no big deal, but when you turn your head and look at it from a side view, a flat goggle will really spell out something odd about the view. And we're here to solve the problem. As far as the studying and referencing, we have carefully go back to all the release material by Ubisoft. And this, they are not very high res, but just enough for us to turn all the emojis into usable data. Here showcase the amount of pixels, if you will, and we have analyzed the 17 distinct emojis. They are all cataloged in a zero run away, a zero one array, which can be easily implemented in codes or at our Arduino board later. Everyone would say this build is like a conflict between programmer and artist, because uh, many makers, if they're good programmers, they sell them interest in art and vice versa. But we assure you, here on Project Ranchit, we are both. Not just a bit of both, but a lot of both. Here's what we've done already. After analyzing the 16 by 16 array for each emoji, we can nail down to the size. Since LED is only manufactured in 3mm or 5mm, and to our frame referencing, 3mm makes the most sense. And when you ask about the coding, it can wait, because using a fraction of the researching time, we have built a quick Bluetooth app on Android that is compatible with our bot in the latest stage. So we can now focus on the form and the artistry behind this. You can see this is the first iteration of the 3D model we made according to the references. It lined up pretty much perfectly, I would say. Uh, I mean, the camera angle was not good, but instead of fixing that, I would rather spend time on solving some more meaningful problem of the build. And the purpose here is uh, you see with our experience on hot service modeling, we got the ratio, the form, and the details all line up in there. Using our public printing service, we have printed out the first prototype to test out the size and dimensions. We are quite happy with it, except the limitation that we have print time limit and the, we have to print it in this odd and evil vertical resolution. We said, okay, we just send it out, prime it, and see how it goes. And this is what we have come up with. You see the details translate fairly well. The parts all fit together. This is a five part print. They all fit well together. And you can check out the 3D model on Sketchfab. We test the dimension by like getting a cardboard in there, get the pattern out of it. And this measure to be 3CM, which is just right for feeding the desired amount of LEDs from the reference. Here is an example of how we work around our constraints. Uh, we printed this little part, seemingly the webcam on his mask. We print it out with these holes in the file in this blue filament. But as we expected, most of the commercially available FDM printer cannot handle these holes. So what we did is print it out in a better resolution in white and then draw the dots and drill a hole very simply with hand tools. We need your help. I printed these with the printer in my school. I'm graduating soon, so I'll lose access. And even if I do have access to it, the limitation is drastically slowing down our iterative process. It would be so meaningful to us to have our own printer for prototyping. It's donation time! All of your donation is so meaningful to us. And no matter the amount, we are very, very grateful. 
especially with donation awards starting at five dollars you will have fan art postcard and if you donate ten dollars you will have these wonderfully replicated pins we photoshopped the texture and printed it through a commercial company it looks great for your costume or collectible at as little as seventy dollars we will print our final version of the 3d model roughly send it to hand it off to you so you can craft on it and work on it for a hundred dollar donation you will receive a hand sculpted molded and painted chibi figure we will complete the sculpture and mold it soon and for two hundred dollar you will welcome with the 3D printed taser gun saw in trailers and in game. We have modeled this long time ago. We say, why not print this out and send it off to you guys as a cool collectible piece? Please donate now. Donation of all amount is super, super helpful to our project. It helps fund material costs and buying our first ever printer. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more Project Ranchets. And feel free to go to the DeviantArt to update blog post. Thank you.